Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to JOD Traders Espresso with me, Darius Charles, because today is the 14th of April 2020. So, yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this um, Tuesday's morning recorded session where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts. Um, a few of the charts that we looked at yesterday. So, yep, as always, guys, before we do that, before we jump into those charts, um, let's quickly have a read through our res disclaimers. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, so also uh, just before we jump in, quick mentioning of our JOD YouTube channel to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course, our JOD Bank website and specifically our JOD research page, which we update as well on a daily basis. So yeah, feel free to visit us here on JOD, JODBank.com and click on the research tab right there, guys. So um, now then, uh, also just a quick refresh and reminder of what's what's happening here globally in terms of the coronavirus um now that was the figure that you saw previously that was the yesterday's figure uh the one that we looked at uh during traders tea time uh, but it was what i was saying in the beginning of this week probably most likely that we will hit two million by the end of this week so um yep the death toll continues to rise um the amount of uh, infected also continues to rise however um a little bit slower i would say um so yep that's could be a good this could be a good news um <clears throat> but in a way guys um of course don't get me wrong um i hope this this stays like this i hope it continues to slow down but um don't um don't be surprised if we for example could would get another um another wave another wave basically in the rise in infections so again uh for now this is how it is um the markets are of course uh reacting nicely to all this kind of calmness a little bit and uh but as i said yep don't don't kind of uh get your hopes too uh, too much yet so yep miss always take it with a little pinch of salt so yep for now guys guys that's the situation um, and this is exactly where where I wanted to lead into um, so the indices so um, we saw on uh, last week uh, the index closing the FTSE 100 here closing uh, slightly above this uh, 5800 and uh, uh, 15 territory so in a way um, what I was saying that if we get a nice close above this then yep we could see this one this or should I say this there's increases the chances of a potential move further north um, so looking at the cash index right now we can see that yes the um, the price is drifting higher is currently balancing around the 5,935 zone so basically uh, we are on route uh, to that uh, psychological 6,000 mark so well, let's see how this this is gonna play out, and if we gonna if we can reach that area soon. Um, but the next potential target for us, what I, which I was talking about, was the uh, six thousand two hundred and thirty one mark. So that's the high of the tenth of March. So keep your eyes on this one, guys. For now, yes, it is. More lean, we're leaning more towards the upside. Um, we are trading above this little short term upside support line. So in a way, as long as this upside line remains intact, uh, we will continue uh, targeting the. The, um, the upside so but if this upside line gets a break here then yep uh, this could in a way lead towards a slightly lower level so keep your eyes on this one uh, the German DAX similar story here so uh, the DAX right now the cash index uh, the German market is not open yet still so but the cash index is pushing higher it's currently balancing around the uh, 10,760 territory so basically uh, are here so this is what I talked about last week because what I was saying that if we get a push above this barrier the 10,590 uh, then yes we could aim for further uh, for, for further acceleration to the upside 
where our next target is that uh, psychological um, 11,000 mark or slightly above that we do have that high of the 10th of March which is around the 11,032 zone so keep your eyes on this one guys um, it could be quite interesting um, and uh, yep for now we are leaning more towards the upside because we are still trading above this upside support line taken from the low of the 19th of March and uh, in a way as long as it remains above that line then yes we will continue targeting the upside if we get a break of this upside line the same story as with the FTSE we will start maybe considering some some lower levels uh, but again we'll reevaluate that um, if we do see a break of this upside line um, gold now this one is a, a spectacular performance from gold yesterday uh, and this is what I talked about yesterday yeah basically what I was saying that Keep your eyes on the, not only on this 1680 territory, uh, but also keep your eyes on the uh, psychological 1700 and the 703 territory, which was the highest point of March. So we managed to create a new high, uh, a new high uh, th this week, this, or should I say, the new high for this year. Um, this was roughly near the uh, 1729, 30 zone. Um, you can see that not only that the uh, not only that the commodity kind of uh, traveled higher and and broke our barrier here the 1703 it also tested the and also found resistance near this level the 1723 uh, mark. Um, which I was, I was talking about yesterday and basically that was the uh, let me just quickly remind you guys this was the uh, the high and let me just uh, zoom in here a little bit this was the high of um, 12th of uh, December so 2012 so 12th of December 2012 got tested yesterday it acted as a fantastic area of resistance um, the level was overshot today and uh, well I mean, now looking at this picture, uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see what he wants to do here. Um, the the level that it reached today, this morning, was around 1729.70. So basically, if you want, you can route it up towards the uh, 1730 zone. Um, now we are seeing a bit of a retracement here to the downside. Don't get me wrong, we could see a bit of a retracement. However, if it stays above the 1703 territory or even the 1700 level, then there is still a chance for this one to reverse and push higher. However, of course, you probably understand that it is quite, uh, let's say, already over, maybe a little bit overstretched to the to the upside so maybe maybe a larger correction could do here however what i wanted to show you as well here guys um and i've briefly touched on on this idea with some other instruments uh yesterday but uh, basically keep your eyes on this uh, upside line taken from the low of the 20th of march but also uh, we could maybe potentially seeing here maybe a somewhat of a uh, rising veg here although it's not an ideal one however uh, be very careful here guys if this upside line breaks and we see uh, the price falling below this upside line and maybe even below this uh, 1680 um, zone so probably I'm gonna move my highlighted area around here a little bit so if we get a break of this upside line and we do see a drop below the 1680 territory then yes we will aim for <clears throat> a bit of a a bit of a decline here a bit of a t uh, move to the downside could be possible so however again that's in the scenario of the downside but um, we need for that we need to see a break of this upside line um, for now the commodity remains above the 1703 um, it remains above the upside support line taken from the low of the 20th of March so yep uh, guys for now um, we are still leaning more towards the upside although we're seeing a bit of a correction here but this correction could be healthy here um, and uh, we could see a nice uh, then a move lower than then a rebound here somewhere and then a push higher again so again for now Keep your eyes on this one. It's very tricky and, and at the same time very, very interesting. So let's see if, if gold can push further north. We will start considering the upside only if we get a push above the 1730 uh, mark because, again, we would like to be on the safe side because the uh, the precious metal is already overextended here. Well, should I say not overextended, overextended but a little bit uh, stretched to the upside here. So that's why to be on the safe side we would like to see a push above the 1730 
clarity zone and then we could aim for higher levels for now keep your eyes on this one guys very very interesting um ethereum so ethereum is the kind of the the only one probably from the top three or four uh, uh, these top uh, cryptos uh, which has not broken its upside support line to, uh, and uh, all other others are now trading below their little short-term upside support lines this one keeps holding on to it so in a way we cannot really do anything until we see a nice uh break through one of these uh one of these lines either this downside line taken from the high of the 19th of february or the uh upside line taken from the low of the 13th of march so yep guys for now keep your eyes on this one um we are like i said waiting to see what's going to happen here again we're not doing anything we're just observing um AUD, usd so um it's working out according to the plan, which I talked about uh, last week. So when when I was covering uh, this one last week, what I was saying that if we get a push above this barrier, the 0 0.6214, then yep, there is a good chance for this one to drift higher, potentially aim for the 0 0.6312 territory, and then we could start even going going further north towards the 0 0.6434 mark, which is the low of the 28th of February, and. Um, in a way, near near this level, um, it could uh, it could uh, well. This is where the big the big question will 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 happen. Basically, we, if can this pair uh, can this pair overcome this downside line? If it can, then yes, we could see this one pushing further north towards the uh, the 200 day EMA here, which coincides with this key important area near the 0 0.6677 mark. Um, but of course, for that we need to see a break of this downside line. For now, it is pushing higher, but we are still. Uh, we are still uh, below this downside line, so yep, be very careful. And don't get me wrong, we are a little bit overstretched here to the upside, even on the uh, on the shorter, well, even on the shorter time frame, or actually, even not even that, even on the daily chart. So um, maybe a bit of correction could be possible near this downside line. So again, keep your eyes on this one, be very careful, and uh, well, have your stop losses in place. Uh, USD CAD, another one that uh, con confirmed a nice break. So this is what I talked about yesterday as well. Uh, that we needed to see a nice good drop and a close, a daily close below the 1.3922 zone. So we got that, and you can see now the uh, the pair is drifting lower. So it, everything's working according to plan. Our next target here is the 1.3734. Now, again, don't get me wrong, it might not reach that, but this is a very good area of support, uh, which could be tested. And if we do see a test of this, then yep, we may might see a bit of a rebound here back to the upside. For now, the pair continues to trade below this downside line. Uh, so as long as it remains below this downside line, yes, we will continue aiming to the downside. If we get a break of this downside line, then and yep, uh, we will. We might consider a bit of a correction here to the upside. However, like I said, long story short, basically for now, we're leaning more towards the downside. But uh, be very careful, of course, um, because um, just in case this decides to reverse, let's say earlier, test the downside line and then reverse back to the downsides. I mean, we've seen this happening many times, guys, so that's why have your stop loss in place and uh, be very careful. Uh, and uh, yep, be very careful and cautious as always, uh, because like I said, we do, the market doesn't always move in the direction as, or should I say, it doesn't always move the way we want it to move. So that's why um, have your stop loss in place. Uh, GBP Euro finally broke above this barrier. I talked about this one as well recently. So uh, the 14, uh, 1.1440 uh, got violated yesterday and we saw a nice daily candle close here above this. So now the, um, uh, well, the pair traveled higher and found some resistance near these two EMAs, the 100 and the 200 EMA. So, which currently both coincide with the same area. So basically creating a very uh, strong area of resistance. Um, for now, basically, we can get rid of this highlighted area. Um, for now, we will, yes, we'll continue aiming for the upside and uh, probably we'll get even more comfortable with the upside if we get a push above that, um, above this e these EMAs here. So uh, that's why, guys, for now, um, for now, yes, be very careful, be very cautious. Um, and uh, yep, 
let's see if it can put, continue pushing higher. Uh, for now, it seems that it could continue pushing higher. However, let's wait for that. Let's wait for that confirmation break here above this, above these two EMAs, and then we could get a little bit more comfortable with the further upside. Then we will target this little tar uh, this little area uh, near the 1.1598, or you know where you could round it up towards the 116 zone. This could be a nice uh, potential area for resistance, and then we'll take it from there. Um, so basically, the arrow should be somewhat like this. Um, in terms of the downside, we would need to see a drop uh, back below the uh, let me just back below the 1.1305 or the 1.13 zone, and then yes, we could uh, aim for slightly lower levels. Uh, GPP USD, so also very interesting. So this is what I talked about yesterday in my tea time as well. So you know during my tea time, the pair was back below this uh, below this barrier initially. Of course, in the morning we had a nice break here, but it got uh, it moved back below it. But what I was saying that uh, wait for a daily close, wait wait for wait for it to see. And wait to see, and wait and see how how it's going to finish the day. And as you can see, it closed above this uh, above this barrier, and now it's pushing further north. So everything's working according to plan. Um, but I was saying that if we get a nice daily close above this barrier, then yes, we could start considering higher levels. We are considering higher levels. We are aiming now for this 1.2726 mark, which is the lowest point of February, and also coincides with the 200 EMA here on the daily chart. Um, in terms of the uh, in terms of the downside, um, well, we would now probably consider this level as an interesting one to watch. And if we see a move back below the 1.2485, then yes, we could maybe uh, aim for a bit of a downside down move here towards the uh, the lowest point of October 2019 uh, near the 1.2195 zone. So keep your eyes on this one. So basically, the downside arrow should be from here. I do understand it's very close still, but now. We're Nevertheless, we will keep that on the chart. Um, so uh, let me. Oh, finally, um, and finally, Euro USD. So here, the situation is also in quite interesting. Um, let me just jump into a four-hour chart on this one. Um, so this is what I talked about yesterday, and basically, I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this barrier because what I was saying that in a way, the pair could drift a little bit lower, could gr uh, slide. Uh, uh, could slide down this uh, downside line here, um, but if it still remains above the subside line, then there's a good chance for this one to drift higher. However, we needed to see a nice good confirmation break above this uh, above this 1.09.52.53 mark, which also coincides with the 200 EMA on the four-hour chart. So. Uh, for now, wait for that uh, four-hour candle close because, as you can see, yesterday we also had a nice break above this. So wait for that confirmation close of a four-hour candle because without probably that would that will be enough for us. And uh, if we do see a push above this, then yes, we will aim for higher levels. We'll be very cautious. We'll still have our stop loss in uh, in place, very close. So in case this reverses and drops lower again, uh, but yep, keep your eyes on this one for now. Like I said, it is knocking on the door of this 1.0950 level if we get a break above this uh, this yep would uh, and this could uh, lead to some higher levels initially we'll target the 1.1039 zone which is the high of the uh, 31st of March and then we will aim for the 1.1147 mark so yep keep your eyes on the on these uh, with the downside it's very uh, straightforward and we're taking here a very conservative approach we're waiting for a drop below the 1.0777 because we need to see a break of this upside line we need to see a drop below this downside line as well and because this area acted as a fantastic area of support uh, we'll probably like I said we'll wait for this one because a drop below this this yep could attract more bears into the game so I really hope you found it useful guys um, thank you very much for watching and listening and I uh, really appreciate your um, your support and your everything guys your your likes your your comments um, so yeah, thank you very much on that. And uh, if you want to catch my video later on around 13, 15 GMT time, um, uh, yep, my traders tea time, we'll have a look at some of these instruments, some new ones, and we'll see how everything's kind of uh, getting along and uh, what to expect from the market again. So, um, right. I hope you have a fantastic trading day, guys, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much and bye-bye.